Hello, my name is Latif Sharif with Rise Time. This webcast is titled My Sites in SharePoint. My Sites in SharePoint are personal sites that give users a central location to manage and store their documents, content, links, and contacts. The My Site feature is not available within Windows SharePoint services and is only available when you purchase Microsoft Office SharePoint Server Standard or Enterprise Edition. A user's My Site serves as a point of contact for other users in the organization to find information about them and their skills and interests. In this presentation, you will gain a general understanding of My Sites, set up your My Site by creating your profile, create privacy groups for the content you want to share, add links and content and share with people within the privacy groups, and add colleagues. My Site provides a central location for users to view and manage all of their documents, tasks, links, calendar, colleagues, and other personal information. It's a way for other users to learn about you and your areas of expertise, current projects, and colleague relationships. It's a place for content providers to target information to you based on the information that you and your organization provide in your profile, such as title, your department, and interests. Let's open up a My Site and I will walk you through setting it up. I have opened up a My Site for Dave Smith. Here, as you can see, I've logged in as a user called Dave Smith. The first time a user clicks on their My Site, SharePoint will automatically create a My Site for that user. But because we've already visited Dave's My Site, his My Site has already been created by SharePoint. When we log in, this My Site page for Dave presents lists of membership, such as distribution lists, and shows how you can share those lists with other people. The first thing we'll do is click on My Profile to set up Dave's profile. Dave's profile page displays a list of Dave's colleagues, an organization hierarchy to show his position within the immediate team. When other people visit Dave's site, they can quickly see what they have in common with him, colleagues, memberships that they share, and first manager that both Dave and them share. It's important for users to fill this out so that other users can search and find other users within a company. Also, it's important to note here that the type of content entered by each user on their My Site page can depend on how well a company stays connected. The My Site public page allows you to display details about yourself to people who visit your My Site. This information then becomes part of your user profile and can be included in a search. As part of your user profile, you can include your picture, text that describes you, your projects, and your interests. Let's start out by completing Dave's profile. Click Edit Details. See, David's name is automatically populated. Now let's put in some information in the About Me section. Let's add a picture. I'll also add some responsibilities and some of the information below here. Privacy groups such as these allow you to decide who gets to view some of the information on your public page, such as the list of your colleagues, distribution list memberships, your skills and interests, and other information you want to display only to your work group or your manager. We'll talk more about this in just a little bit. But before I close this, I'd like to set up my privacy groups. For skills, I'll have my colleagues be able to view my skills. In addition to my past projects, and my interests. And I'll also make my manager someone who can view the school that I've attended. And then I'll click Save and Close. Now here, back to Dave's profile page, we can see that his picture has uploaded in addition to information that he shares with everybody. And that includes his responsibilities and his birthday. The colleagues web part helps you to keep track of events such as whether your colleagues are in office, in meetings, or on the telephone. You can also be notified when colleagues change departments or responsibilities, add documents to a SharePoint library, an anniversary or birthday. In addition, you can choose who appears on your colleagues list and organize your colleagues list by groups. We'll go ahead and add a few colleagues to Dave my site. The Add Colleagues page is now displayed and I can add as many colleagues as I like. 
I'll simply launch the address book and add all my colleagues. But before I do, I'd like you to notice how as soon as I launch this page, it shows me a list of the suggested colleagues. But let's go ahead and find the colleagues that I want to share my site with. We'll add Joe and we'll add myself. And then we can also decide who we want to show these colleagues to. Everyone, just my other colleagues, my work group, my manager, only me. I'll show these colleagues to everybody. Okay. Now I've added my colleagues. You can also see here that once I add my colleagues, I can tell immediately whether they're online or offline. In this case, Josh seems to be offline while Dan, Matt, and Joe are online. Now that I've added some colleagues, I'll now create some quick links. The My Links page allows you to keep track of all your favorite websites and access them from any computer on your network. When you log in, My Links appear in the upper right hand corner of every site. Let's go ahead and add a few links. We'll title this Yahoo. And we'll allow everyone to see this. Let's add another link. We'll title this CNN. And we'll only allow my colleagues to view this link. Notice how only the Yahoo link showed up. Well, that's because the view that I've chosen is a view that everyone would be able to see. If I change this view to my colleagues, I can now see that the CNN News and Yahoo shows up in this view. This memberships web part shows a list of all sites that Dave is part of within this and other site collections. This is automatically generated by SharePoint based on Dave's site permissions. The documents web part on your public page allows you to share documents with other people. All documents you have saved to every library in your organization, except for your private documents library, automatically appears in the list for other people to access. You can change the permissions on list items and libraries to prevent them from appearing in the documents web part. In the quick launch bar on the left of this site, by default, has three document libraries, personal documents, shared documents, and shared pictures. Let's put in a document in both of the libraries to see the differences between how these pieces of content will be displayed to visitors of my site. Now that we've added a picture to the personal documents for Dave, we'll go to the shared documents and add something else. There. Now I've added a document into the personal documents folder and a shared documents folder. Let's go back to my home. You'll see here that because Dave is the owner, he will have access to all the documents. If we were to sign in as a different user, we would only see the content that Dave has placed into the shared documents library. Let's log in as another user and see how the differences are displayed. This time, I'll log in as myself and visit Dave's My Site. Notice here that when I log in, the links are displayed for me in addition to the profile information Dave has elected only the colleagues to see, like interests, past projects, and skills. And if we look at the documents web part, I can see that the only document I see in here is the document that Dave has placed in the shared documents folder, which is called My Sites. In this presentation, you gained a general understanding of My Sites, set up your My Site by creating your profile, created privacy groups for the content you want to share, added links and content, and shared those with people within the privacy groups, and then you also added colleagues.